Okay, guys, what's up? So, we did some aim stuff on the channel about the incremental aim training method, and you guys seem to be really enjoying that. So, what I thought I'd do to follow up, because a lot of people start talking about sniper rifle aim and things like that, is that this is part of a much larger discussion, but if you're wanting to get good with the sniper, the stalker, and the bandit, and other single shot weapons like that, then there's a little bit of sort of aim training, sort of how you approach aiming that I think would be beneficial to a lot of players on top of the incremental aiming difficulty. So when you aim the sniper, one of the things that you need to be aware of is that because you're zoomed in, you can cover quite a large area very quickly. And so what you don't want to be doing is like zooming in over here and then going over to a, to a player like that. I mean, you can learn flick shots if you want to be able to get them. And that comes a bit later, but... At start, when you're starting out with sniping, you don't want to be doing that. You definitely want to be in the firing range to learn flat surfaces because all the stuff like crosshair placement and things will come later. So don't try and go into a matchmaking game and no scope everyone when you've not been practicing with the sniper rifle because you're going to make it really hard for yourself. You want to start on endless in the bot range and you want to play on both scoping lenses as well because the way they behave and the amount of distance they give you and the memory that you need to generate to be able to use them will change. So if we just shoot this bot here, this is a terrible one. See how we've got this bot that's aiming across the back here. Now, what some people will try to do is they'll try to scope in and shoot him straight away. And once you get the memory, you can do that. However, one of the things that you should be careful of, you should always try to scope in in front of the target and let it walk in. Like that. Okay, so you always want to be letting the target walk into the crosshair when you're learning. And then you can start to get more and more comfortable as time goes on. When you've got stationary targets like this, one of the things you can practice is, is sort of walking and scoping in and seeing if you can correct to the head. You don't have to shoot. You just want to practice scope correction. And I know the target stood still, but that's not the point. The point is, is that you're learning how to correct from various angles. And you can even try it with flick shots as well. If you want to learn how to flick, you could purposely start not on the target. I know for a fact my weaker flicking side is the left side when I'm trying to use the sniper rifle. I'm much more comfortable from the right hand side just because of the way that I've practiced. And this would expand to controller as well. Remember in training, it's not about how many shots you hit. It's the fact that you're training weaknesses. And so you are going to miss anyway. So you need when you're training, you need to be Focusing on things you're not good at to cover weaknesses. And then once you get to like high diamond and onyx, then you can start capitalizing on your strengths to make your own unique play style. So as we said, we can practice flicks. We can practice quick scopes. You can literally just get used to what it's like to scope onto someone. You can sort of get used to it. And again, like I said, there will be times where you're going to miss. Let him walk in. Shoot him in the face. Let him walk in, shoot him in the face, etc, etc. But, once you get to a reasonable amount of comfort, you can start speeding it up and speeding it up and speeding it up. Now, the one issue I do have with the shooting range is that the bots will momentarily sit still. And, and this can sometimes cause them to be a bit easier to hit. But that's not the point. And you can see one of the things I'm also doing is I'm not just aiming purely with the mouse. Yeah, so I'm not just aiming purely with the mouse. And if this was on controller, I wouldn't solely just be aiming with the right stick either. I'd be aiming with both. Okay, so this applies to mouse and controller. As you can see here, I've switched input to controller now. It doesn't matter which one that you're using, the principle stays the same. So what we want to start doing is we want to start leading see I miss still. We want to start leading the shots and we also want to get used to being able to quick scope and lead at the same time. And it's these things come with time and they come with practice and once you get familiar with the idea of doing it in the free range then I recommend you step it up to the three star difficulty and then that allows you to then try and do it under pressure and then, as we said, with the incremental one, you then move it into the shooting range. Uh, sorry, the, the academy, and then against other players. I highly recommend playing te Team Snipers when it's available. You can see here that the bots actually stand still for a period of time. 
which causes them to be quite easy to hit, but it does train flick aiming quite well. Because I'm doing a video, I'm not necessarily going for a high score here. But, um, I mean, I can upload that if people want. But this is all about practicing under pressure. You can see this stand still. They will crouch every so often, and you can kind of get used to it. They, they get to the point where they become quite predictable, which is why this method will only take you so far. But it is a good way to warm up. I personally warm up in the shooting range like this every time I go online. So 55k for me is not bad. Um, especially since that I was talking at the same time. But we'd move into that. We'd, we'd practice that. I do that nearly every single day, by the way. That is something that I do nearly every single day. And then once again, once we've got comfortable, we can start working this in. So you definitely want to try and work this in on maps where the sniper rifle is there. And you definitely want to try and work this in where the enemy is shooting back. And so I'm not going to go on too much longer because this is similar to the other video, but it's the principle of aiming in front. And if you look at pros and you look at cli like uh, on clips that I have on my channel when I'm streaming and stuff, there's always, I aim in front of the target. I don't just try to, you know, I don't aim behind the target. And a lot of the stuff as well that you need to try to learn is crosshair placement. So if we just give ourselves the S7 sniper here, doesn't really matter what the other weapon is. Um, we'll put the bots onto. Um, we don't want them to shoot back right right now. But we do want them to traverse. And one of the things you can do is you can actually get them. Put infinite ammo on. Not. You can actually get them to just sort of move around. And it's even better if you have your bots on your team as well. And you start to learn where head height is. So like around here would be head height when they come around that corner, depending on their depth. And you can also start, you see where their heads move and you can start to oh, learn where people up. might stand. And it's a case of just practicing as you go. As I said, not having them shooting back is always the best. And it's a really good warm up method. And again, you can apply this to other weapons as well. But it's really important with the sniper especially because you only get one chance to hit them. You need to be making sure that you're practicing. I did a very good job of this. You need to make sure that you're practicing in ways where targets are moving because it's very rare you're going to be able to shoot someone in matchmaking who's just stood still. And it's important that you also put it on an appropriate difficulty for yourself. Because, like with Spartan here, you can see they're strafing quite a lot. And realistically, if you're going against high-level players, they are going to strafe quite a lot. And I've seen in other content creators' videos as well, as well like Shyways. He likes to say, um, one of the good ones to do is to practice the no-scope shot as well. And so, again, I highly recommend using training modes. Practice things like that. But again, on keyboard and mouse, this is obviously easier. It takes a much longer amount of time to get good at this. Again, this corner, for example, as I'm going around, I want to make sure I'm aiming at the correct height, which may be sort of here. And then as I'm going around sandbags, I want to make sure I'm aiming sort of here, depending if they're still on the back or the front. And it's sort of, the idea is just to start to learn to be preemptive about things. And essentially, you just spend time in here and play Team Snipers. So... This is a reasonably short one, it's like 8 minutes or so, but I thought that'd be something that people would enjoy and it would help them to learn. If you want any tips on learning how to snipe or you want any tips in all, at all in general, feel free to join my community Discord. There's quite a lot of us in there now, um, which is really surprising because um, you guys find me a lot more interesting than I find myself. Um, but I hope this helps. I'm always open to conversation. I'm open to doing coaching on Discord. Some of the members in my community are also doing it which is fantastic but in the meantime uh, like the video if you enjoyed it dislike the video if you don't like this sort of stuff so i know not to do it leave a comment if you disagree or have something to add but otherwise i'll see you in the next ones this has been vanadam see you later guys